Well, if you live in Hampton Roads, Virginia, you're thinking about dealing with climate impact all the time. Everyone who lives in Hampton Roads knows now that sometime during the year, in some areas at nearly every high tide, in others certainly every full moon high tide, or a good thunderstorm, or wind from the northeast, or wind from the northeast on a sunny day, you're gonna have flooding. It may cause gridlock in downtown Norfolk where no one can go anywhere. Intersections are blocked completely. The water isn't discriminating where it goes, what it does, or who it impacts. The people that occupy the ships, fly the planes, drive the amphibious assault vehicles, they live in the community. And all of the support infrastructure for all of that, logistics, parts, food, uh, infrastructure, telecommunications, that's all in the community. So while the bases do have some capacity to be independent, they need utilities from outside the base, they need the internet from outside the base, they need all of the shipyard workers, civilian employees, civilian contractors, logistics support infrastructure, that all comes on and off the base from, from somewhere else. So the whole region is interconnected. It's a system of systems. Nothing can be done independently. Hampton Roads is one of 17 critical maritime administration infrastructure ports. Wilmington, North Carolina is one of two critical military infrastructure points. Look what happened to Wilmington during Hurricane Florence just last year. What happens at our port facilities around the United States, at our major military facilities around the United States, has a ripple effect across the country. And as we see more and more rising water, we will see more and more impact over time. We're the fifth largest container port in the United States by volume. Two major train companies operate out of Norfolk, CSX and Norfolk Southern. We are also a primary exporter for agricultural goods and the largest coal export point on the east coast of the United States. So you can hate coal or you can love coal, but it's all going out of Norfolk, Virginia. I got a call yesterday from the Realtors Association in Hampton Roads. They want to know what's going on. People are realizing that things are changing. And it's not just from the urban and suburban areas, it's also from the agricultural areas, from our waterfront communities. It is having a universal impact on the state. If we want to invest in ourselves, we're going to have to put some skin in the game, and then we'll get a return on that investment. The National Building Council has done quite a bit of work on this, and their latest figures are that a dollar spent for pre-disaster uh, response saves six dollars in post-disaster repair later. So the money we put in up front will be of value to us. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we had a national set of options, opportunities, and oversight entities that were targeting specific vulnerable areas putting money against solutions to meet those challenges, whatever they are, whether it's drought or water or flooding, wildfire danger, um, aquifer depletion. We haven't really put any money into it to investigate and understand, and we don't have any oversight, and so we need to start to test things out. Because how do we get to the moon? We put money into it. When we reach out to other states and say, what are you doing? They're really eager to tell us. And they're also really eager to hear what we're doing and to take that back and try to say, hmm, that's a good idea. Virginia's thinking about this. I could tell you an example that we're thinking of in Virginia that we're taking from someone else, and that is developing a water campus, which is something that has been done in Louisiana, a program called Rise Resilient Solutions. It's a nonprofit. It's actually an accelerator incubator for ideas for resilience. So it is a test case for unique green infrastructure and water management challenges, but solutions that we will be able to implement in that community and then hopefully translate to other communities. So it looks like it's gonna be a fascinating idea using Hampton Roads as a test bed.